a while back I made a string of videos talking about sleep paralysis and how for a time I was purposely pursuing the sleep paralysis demon part of it basically because I had a freak ass encounter in this dream that kind of set me off down that path so um anyway um, I'm, I'm already lucid in the dream it's like uh, kind of like a video game like scenario and I say that only because so we had like the crew guys I was with we had the bad guys over there and we're trying to fight them but I was employing a very video gamey tactic of go up there, see what they got, you know, we get killed or wiped, and then we uh, respawn for the back and <laughs> um, go back, to know what we're dealing with, take the bad guys out. So that's what we're doing. It's a lot of fun. I'm just sticking to the general uh, premise of the dream. But as it carries on, things start to get progressively more horror movie-like and, and violent. And I'm really not a fan of those types of shows and movies, although at this time, my wife and I were obviously watching... Way too much Walking Dead. Bathroom break. Okay, so um, where were we, right? The Walking Dead. So as the dream is progressing, it's basically just getting way too violent. And I'm trying to stop and change things as best I can. Please, please don't do that. <laughs> trying to stop and change things as best I can, but I'm not, not able to. So eventually I decide to, and you know what, screw it. I'm just going to leave all the other dream characters and just go off in another direction and explore the dream environment that way. So as I'm doing that, right, I leave. Right there. Right there. Um, as I'm going off that way, I find this weapon, right? And it's like a sword, but it looks all like, it feels, it feels good, feels holy, feels like a, a nice, long, super sharp sword. And so I find it. I'm like, oh, wow, this is a good find. There was like vegetables and shit around. I'm cutting the vegetables with him. Like, hey, this is a good, this is a good sword here. So I decided to go back to the battle, right? And go finish the fight. So I go back. Uh, now my wife is there, which is uh, coming to play later. I'm thinking, oh, that's weird. You know, she wasn't there earlier. And then in like a couple swings, I like just sword gets super long and crazy. And I just like kill all the bad guys, but in a very nice, non-violent, happy seeming way. Okay, so all that's cool. Dream scene changes. We're at a, a house now with every, you know, all the all of my homies and shit. We're partying over there, happy that we won the battle. And then someone comes up, a dream character comes up and tells me to go downstairs. There's people down there. And I go down there and I see Rick from The Walking Dead. There's there's two versions of him. Pause again. Okay, so we're back literally hours later. But um, anyway, so. Or, uh, two ricks right so there's two ricks downstairs one looks at me and tells me it's not over yet and i instantly get this like oh shit feeling right <laughs> like of impending doom or something and then as soon as that happens uh, everything changes again all of a sudden i'm at uh, my childhood home I used to i grew up on this horse ranch and up across uh the way from my house was this barn up on top of a hill that we always looked at as kind of like a scary barn not because the barn itself was scary, but because the way you would normally have to get there, like walking around the back way and all that, was past all the scary parts of the barn. So, uh, you know, growing up, we never liked it. But um, anyway, so it's, you know, dark at the barn. I hear this voice beckoning, like calling me to come up up there on top of the hill. And so I'm like, eh, you know, okay. <laughs> Most of the time, like for me in dreams, and never shit like that happens. I almost always go, like I always... And pretty much normally, I feel safe in my dreams, right? So I figure, why not check it out and see what's up? So I start flying up towards it instead of going, obviously, the scary way, right? And as I'm going up towards the hill, I'm approaching, I'm getting close. I get second thoughts and I start thinking, oh, wait, nah, fuck that. <laughs> I'm not going to that. Hell no. So then I turn around and start coming back, start flying back down the hill. Then I get, like, frozen in place. You know, I look up at the sky and there's, like, it was like two moons, but it was like one small moon and this big freaking like blood red, scary looking moon in front of it. And I instantly realized like I done fucked up <laughs> pretty much. And um, then I have uh, another basically a false awakening. Right. So then it momentarily kind of seems like the dream ends. I wake up. I'm in bed. Can look over. I see uh, my wife in bed and then she tells me something. She says, oh, it's not over yet. Oh, she says, oh, uh, one more thing. So she says, oh, one more thing. Then she uh, points at a black figure in the bed. It's essentially the sleep demon paralysis guy. See you later. 
He looks at me. He grabs my arm. You know what? He grabs it pretty freaking hard, too. Feels like it's, like, possessing me, actually. Like, like creeping up my arm. I start freaking out. I can't really move, so I make this big, like, jerk motion. And then it, I really jerk in real life. <laughs> and then I wake up. My wife actually was kind of sleeping near my shoulder, so I, like, did that, like, threw her off of me and shit. And, um, and yeah, that was it. Woke up.